What's up guys, it's your boy Suave here, and today we got some, some spicy, some spicy, spicy salami on uh, the Tarkov community. It's, um, it's getting pretty heated out here. It's getting pretty heated out here. So one thing that we're, I'm noticing is that uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, speculation that this game Arena Breakout Infinite has stolen the contents of Tarkov, and we're gonna dive into that. So right here, so big big boy Fry, which Nikita has been responding to this guy directly. Using the boss's name is definitely weird, but I'm not seeing any code copy here. Two different angles, two different games with two different issues. I'm going to need more uh, to be convinced they stole Tarkov's code. And then Nikita directly messaging this guy back. Um, it's not like the code, it's also gun models, sounds, level design, even some of the props. Nikita, I'm definitely open to hearing you out of random. Uh, can you definitely prove the assets and models were just copied? One is legal and other is just frowned on one, but there's a world of difference other than uh, between the two. Of course, we are investigating. So you're investigating that they're throwing out some pretty serious accusations before investigation is concluded. Nikita, I'm also for finding the truth, but you should really chill on this discussion until you know 100% for certain they stole your codes, assets, props, etc. We are pretty positive in some cases already for example some of the gun sounds 100 percent stolen ak 40 uh, 74 sounds some if weapon mods and we saw stolen two blah yeah like a bunch of stuff right is what he's accusing i'm sure this is what you're referring to again copying is frowned upon but like so check this out if you guys play tarkov you are gonna know what i'm talking about or what this is this is a building in arena breakout This is a side-by-side -side comparison. Building in Tarkov, building in Arena. You walk in, left is kitchen. This isn't a kitchen here in Arena, but this is the kitchen. Chair, table, windows, windows, same freaking windows placement. And then upstairs, same no window same window placement there but it's the same layout just modified a little bit pretty wild that is a wild video that is a wild video but there is uh this guy frosty said bro thinks he invented windows left turns and stairways and then i think uh back to the event uh clearly ripped stolen but there's somebody here that says i don't there, I don't, I can't see the comment, but there is a comment where this guy says something about this was on Rust. So I read this earlier, and this guy says it was on Rust as well. Um, I don't know, but apparently, apparently this was on Rust. You guys let me know and confirm. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, but crazy so we can go to the replies here and kind of dig in a little more nikita tweeted this too this is a character that's in arena arena breakout this is a character that's in this game right he is in this game so and this is also looks very very remotely close to the character in escape from tarkov i don't see him but i mean it's it's the sweater and then the bald head right that's kind of the thing so and, and it's just being getting crazy so me i don't like arena uh breakout twitter how dare you support bsg and everybody's like everybody's like hitting her like saying uh why you know whatever you're and then this guy and then Nikita says thanks for the support <laughs> i don't like a lot of choices you and bsg have made the last few weeks but very poor imitation, shady business, whatever. Um, and it's just crazy that, like, I don't know. I feel like everybody is trolling everybody. It's a standard house. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know, man. Like, you can't, Nikita can't, uh, like, Tarkov can't invent windows and doors and turns, you know? I don't know. 
but it is very, very close to the same layout. It is very close. So it's a fine line there, but inspiration isn't suable. Like you can't sue somebody if they're inspired by your buildings and your assets, but you can sue them if they ripped your work, like taking, taking audio that you obviously have recorded and things like that. So I don't know. I don't know. Nikita equals Pokemon versus Pal World, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, dude, but that's crazy. That was a whole, that was a huge thing, dude. I remember that. Um, it's been a couple, rough couple of weeks. We wanted to keep it quiet, but it's up to you to decide if you want to support this kind of thing and stick to games that not only uh, the genre ever. I know a lot of people will have a hard time believing you, Nikita. Let's see what you got. You are right. So I need, it's just like, I guess. So here is people from the community have noticed what is wrong with screenshots roaming around the Tarkov community. In the meantime, we will continue to work on the game with even greater efforts. There's still a lot. So this is the screenshot. I don't know what this is. I'm not a coding guy, but apparently these are assets from Tarkov that have been taken and put into this game. So Kajani is like a name of one of the characters in Tarkov, but it's a name uh, also in Arena Breakout. Um, he's saying we're focusing. Yeah, I, you know, there's a lot. Like, he's saying these speculations and things like that. So it's... Using the boss's name is definitely weird. So apparently they use the boss and boss's name. Uh, that's something that's like stolen from the Tarkov code. I'm sorry, you experiencing these feelings. You know, it's just like... Also making people pay 250 is proud to point. We don't make to pay anyone. Yeah, I, I mean, nobody has to pay the 250, right, Nikita? But if you want the freaking game and you want to play offline, you got to pay the 250. Like, no, you're not making them. Making nobody, I don't know. It's hard to stick with Tarkov when they said themselves they don't have the server space for new stuff they came out with. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, I get that. Like, they were thinking, like, it's money versus infrastructure, right? So, they were wanting everybody to pay the 250 and then one so like server space is rentable so like yeah if they got a bunch of income from selling these for 250 a piece then they could just go rent the server space so i mean th they're saying here 33 percent of the eod players are now in pve continuing to expand server infrastructure and adding more players for their particular purpose sorry for long queue times and that's the thing too is like queue times are significantly long in tarkov on this game it's instant you're right into the so they've already invested in server structure because the thing is with arena it is funded from an online mobile game already and it is like monetized i don't know like the extremes of monetization but it's like i think there's a monthly payment for a gamma container like there's some like things on there that people are not going to be interested in but the game is free to play. So you get what you pay for with a free to play game. You know what I mean? Like it's a free to play game. So you know, they're going to be monetizing the shit out of it. But you know, $3 a month for a gamut container eventually will add up to 250, you know, but it's going to take a while. <laughs> like, it's going to take a while, you know? So there's like a fine line there, man. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I think that could be like, the thing is, is Tarkov has been without competition for so long. So saying Nikita is scared of competition holds a little bit of weight. This is nerve wracking on how close this game is to Tarkov. I mean, they got quests, they got, uh, they got scaving, they got everything. The whole infrastructure is there. Like, and it's very similar to Tarkov. But having said that, they've known about this mobile game for, what, a year, two years? I don't know how long it's been out. And now they're upset because it's come to PC. So there's like a little bit of like, what? Like now that they ported it to PC, it's a big issue, but it wasn't a big issue when it was a mobile game. I don't know. There's, that's a weird dynamic. It's a weird dynamic that's going on here. So. I uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's um, 
There's a lot going on, but the problem is, is the game runs so smooth. I'm getting like 150 FPS. You know, it it, it already has well-balanced infrastructure. And like I've said before, it is made on Unreal Engine 4, which I think is the way they should have went when they made Tarkov. Why did they not go through Unreal Engine instead of going through freaking uh, Unity or whatever? Like, it's, you know... And now they're stuck with Unity. So now they're having to go to the next Unity and port it over. And the game runs like crap. I wonder how they feel when it comes out on consoles. So that is something too, is that it's hinted that this game is going to be coming on consoles. It's been hinted, but nobody's like confirmed or denied that yet. So that's... But nobody said anything from whenever uh, Call of Duty came out with DMZ. I don't see Nikita out here saying stuff like he said the other day. Where is it? I need to go to his main. So he... Maybe it's not on here. It's on Escape from Tarkov. So he straight up said... Quote tweeted. Where is it? There was a quote tweet. It might have got deleted. This might have got deleted. Oh, it did. He, they deleted it. There's a quote tweet where they were straight up saying that this is stolen. So now I got to find this. Um, We got to find this. Where is it? So... Tarkov stole... Right here. No, that's Airwing. Copy and paste. There's new information, though. So Airwing's talking about copy and pasting, but there is... There's so much. Look at all this. Like, I'm trying to find the screenshot, but there is a tweet from BSG where they literally are saying that they deleted it, apparently. I gotta. I want to find that tweet now, but yeah, I mean it's out there. If you guys uh, find it, uh, find a copy of the tweet, uh, tag me in it on Twitter. But it's out there, and it's on one of my last videos. If you guys want to go see it on there, um, or if you guys get a screenshot of that, send it to me. But um, yeah, so I don't know. COD is trash at making buildings, lol. So it's not the same, you know. And that <laughs> that's the thing is like the game. This game. Like, you've seen the detail that they put inside of it. Like, I think I sent a picture of a fire uh, to some of my friends the other day, and it's like, Unreal Engine looks good. And this game looks good. They've done a good job on it. So, and there was another thing that I said, like, so you can't get mad that this game's running like, here is this. Yeah, I think I said this already. But, I mean, it's just so funny. You guys build a career off Tarkov. Stop it. Why are you supporting it? And then it's like... Uh, this guy said something that was great. Where was it? I might have quote tweeted it. Ah, uh, where is it? I might have retweeted it. It was so funny, though. Oh, no, that's not it. But he said, um... He said, so, did, did Tarkov copy over um, the game actually running good? <laughs> or, like, he said that Tarkov couldn't have... They couldn't have stole the game from Tarkov because this game actually runs good. <laughs> or something like that. Oh, no, it's crazy. But, you know, having said that, I still say that Tarkov is the greatest game ever made. It's changed the industry, and I still play it. But this game is a lot of fun. And I, if you guys haven't played it, dive into it. Give it a try. It's, it's a good game. But... There's a lot of, um, here's the thing though. There's a lot of people that are like upset that there's people supporting this game and wanting to play this game, but you got to flip it around. Like I want to support Tarkov, 
but I'm also like a little bit sour with this whole situation because I spent $100 on the Unheard Edition and then they drop it to 50 because of a full community backlash. And then they say that the ones that spent 50 are gonna get a free Left Behind Edition. Like, what am I gonna do with an extra Tarkov account? Like, I don't want another Tarkov account. I want my 50 bucks back or a $50 credit or something, you know? It's just like, they they take these things from the community, like they listen to the community gripe and all that, but then they turn around and then they say, okay, well, we're gonna do what we can to make make it right and make you guys happy. And But then hurting the people who actually paid and supported in the process. So I don't know, man, it's wild. Gray Zone Warfare is not that game though. If you guys haven't seen this, I gotta show you all this. This is Dr. Disrespect. Oh, did I not post it on Twitter yet? Did I not post it on Twitter? Well, it's on my YouTube. Let's go to my YouTube. Now you guys gotta see this. Now this, Dr. Disrespect my man with the, with the commentary. Hold on, let's start it over. Sorry about that. Oh, you can't hear it. You can't hear it. One second. No sound. Sorry. Routing. Line out. Use it another player on the map just running around there we and go sorry about that here we I'm go sure someone has asked but will the two-time be trying out gray zone at any point says the mr Star Fox with the fight out of the nation there's not enough there for me to jump over that game i've seen plenty of gameplay lots of walking around lots of sleeping in, in hammocks um posting up trying to find another player on the map just running around endlessly the, the gameplay loop to me doesn't look great right now but when it gets to a point that it does based off of third person observation then i'll jump into it but right now it's literally just a um it's just a bunch of trees every time i look at that, <laughs> that game it, i feel like it's just a bunch, bunch of trees, trees. <laughs> and that's it i'm sure someone has asked but well the two times oh god i love doc but all right well i appreciate you guys uh checking out this video um, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. Uh, Y'all take it easy. Have a blessed one. Catch you guys on the flip side. Later, baby.